There's, there's been there's been more than one in time that I went because I'm a movie person. I love yeah. movies, and uh, <laughs> there's there been more than one time in the movies that I I I, I just I have a hard time dealing with any kind of any kind of shit like that. Like there was a time in Florida, I was with my wife at Disney, and we went to go see the Hulk, and this was the Hulk with. Uh, Edward Norton. Right. I, know, not, I never I saw know. that one, but I know it was fun. It was good. I mean, at the end, it was a little bit like a video game, too much with the CGI with the bad guy. But right. whatever, it was it was still fun. But I was into it, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a Marvel geek. I'm, I'm a, I grew up on comic books, so I love that kind of stuff. So it was with my wife. It was how many years ago? We're in that movie theater, and it was like a pack of kids, anywhere from ages ten to like fifteen, going in and out of that theater, just running in, just being just obnoxious, just. And everybody in there is afraid to, to say anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at one point, I just, I'm just like, yo, I go, I, I just said, so, like, listen, hey, you know, do you mind? Can you, you know, keep it down? <laughs> so the little girl goes, to, I'm going to go get my brother. So she runs out. She, now listen, this is a no win situation. Like, I, all I thought about in my head was, uh, you know, a former UFC champion knocks out 15 year old. What am I going to do? See, I'm just the opposite. Yeah. I think mediocre comedian knocked out by 15 year old. You, <laughs> you thought you'd be in a Cat Williams situation where he got attacked by that kid. I don't know if you ever saw Oh, him. yeah, yeah, the video. Yeah, shoot, man. Okay, so, so she's going to get her brother, but you weren't even mean to her. You just said to her, nah, hey, I, I, I was loud because it was ridiculous, man. And they were just obnoxious kids. I don't know where the parents were. So then the kid, wait, who said that to my sister? So they all start coming in. Wait, the guy came back in? Oh, yeah, yeah, he came in. Then this guy right next to this guy with his, I guess with his family stuff, he's like, hey, you want to show I'll keep it down? I go, hey, dude, why don't you shut up, all right? Because now you're speaking of you. I'm being right, I'm being loud. I'm the only guy who has balls to say anything. Wait, he said to you to be loud? Well, like he's like, can you guys keep it down or something like that? Because I started, because these kids started coming over to me and my wife. So I told my wife, look. If something happens, just go. I don't. I don't want to worry about my wife. Sure. Like, if something happens, but she's you know a fiery Italian. She's like, I'm not going. No, you know, I'm not going anywhere. You know, she's. So I gotta watch out for her. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to smack a kid. I, I, what am I supposed to do? Right. That's a different. It's yeah. a diff, That's so my what situation. Happened? He's like, who said that? No, nah, no. Nah, so I walked out with her of the thing, and they were kind of following us out, and then they kind of just, they just, they just took off. We got our money back. So, so you said the, something to the kid? Oh yeah, I got loud. I got loud, but I mean, like, listen, like, get, like, you know, I just let them know, hey, don't come in my face, you little punk. I'm not, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get touched by anybody. Yeah. I don't care if you're, you're 16 and, and, and I mean, these, these are big kids. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a 40 year old man. So at the time I was in my late 30s. Who said that matter. to my sister? What a dick. Nah, but they, dude, dick. they weren't, they, I hate they, people. they were, they were a bunch of just. They definitely had some issues, these kids. I mean, I don't know, where were their parents? They were all over. But it was like a pack of them, you know? So it was funny, man. So it was me and my wife, like, uh, I don't know, anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 kids following us out. When I mean kids, I mean like young teenagers. But yeah. but still, it puts you in a position where you're like, listen, I mean, what what, what is the mature thing to do here? Go get the, the usher? Is it is it to tell them to shush? Listen, they, they fucking don't know how to behave. Their parents are the ones that should be getting smacked. I think they're almost worse and harder to deal with than adults because they don't understand the consequences oh, no. of a guy like you punching them in the face. No, nah, and, and it's one of those things where, you know, what do you do with that? Like, it, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, you're not going to get pushed over. You're not going to let nobody touch you or your wife. or put you in, But at the same time, you can make headlines for smacking a... Ch a so would you have said something minor. to that guy? He was an adult. Um, he was an adult and he was just kept flipping through his phone. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, this is the age we live in. People no, are so addicted to their phones. People are so selfish. Thing, would yeah. you, you would have said something. Well, I mean, look, there's another time in Long Island where it was, it was, a, it was a dead night and it was during the week me and my wife went and then there was the guys that kept going in and out of the theater. These two guys. And they kept going out smoking a cigarette, coming back, or smoking weed, whatever. They kept coming in, and it was only us and them in the theater. So they were being fucking obnoxious. And then they were coming. Then the guy was up above and started smoking a cigarette. And it was too much, hey, man, fuck that. Yeah. I mean, now, now it's like, that's when I got up. And now the thing is this. I'm going to these guys fully aware that it could go real south. Sure. But then it's, there's times where I bit my tongue. And it so annoyed me when guys were behind me being obnoxious. Well, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be 
I'm not gonna. You know what? The guy might mouth off. I might do. I'm just gonna bite my. You're tongue. more afraid of what you're yeah. gonna do. Oh no, I'm not afraid of what they're gonna do. I'm that's afraid. Ex- that's exactly the opposite yeah. <laughs> of my problem. <laughs> I'm afraid of uh, you know just them saying the wrong thing, and then it, where I you know where I where I come from, it's pretty much all over. But uh, you know we have that saying where <laughs> you know the winner, the you know the, the the loser goes to the hospital, the winner goes to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where I that's where I come from, man. So. You know, I'm not, I always have that in the back of my mind. Like, man, if I, so I went over to those guys and they just sort of look in my eye when I ordered them. I go, hey, dude, man, listen, don't be smoking in here. I don't, I don't want to smell that shit. I didn't pay you to smell your smoke. I didn't pay here to smell your smoke. Yeah, but, yeah, okay, yeah, but you said I didn't <laughs> yeah, pay yeah, to smell yeah. your smoke. It always comes, listen, anytime there's a confrontation, it always comes out better when you're in the moment. So what did but, you uh, what they Oh, no, no, they put that shit out right away. They knew, they could see. They, they, they I called their bluff, you know, because they would, yeah. Young guy. I See, mean, he called Matt calls them out like like a, a man would call them out. Yeah, See, I would try to be a polite like guys. Well, the thing is, this. not smoke. It would be very appreciate. You know, yeah, I would but try the problem to... problem with this, you got to just read what you're what you're talking to. Right, like, sure. If it's if it's a guy that's just trying to, I don't know. I I, don't, I sense I I pick up on my and my instincts kick in. Said to you to be. Well, like... he's like, could you guys keep it down or something like that? Because I started because these kids started coming over to me and my wife. So I told my wife, look. If something happens, just go. I don't. I don't want to wa- worry about my wife. Sure. Like, if something happens, but she's, you know, a fiery Italian. She's like, I'm not going. No, you know, I'm not going anywhere. You know, she's. So I gotta watch out for her. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to smack a kid. I, I, what am I supposed to do? Right. That's a different. It's yeah. a diff- That's so my situation. Happened? He's like, who said that? No, nah, no. Nah, so I walked out with her of the thing, and they were kind of following us out, and then they kind of just, they just, they just took off. We got our money back. So, so you said something to the kid? Oh yeah, I got loud. I got loud, but I mean, like, listen, like, <laughs> like, you know, I just let them know, hey, don't come in my face, you little punk. I'm not, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get touched by anybody. Yeah. I don't care if you're, you're 16 and, and, and I mean, these, these are big kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a 40 year old man. So at the time I was in my late 30s. Who it said that matter. to my sister? What a dick. Nah, but they, dude, dick. they weren't, they, I hate they, people. they were, they were a bunch of just, there's, there's been, there's been more than one in time that I went, cause I'm a movie person. I love yeah. movies. And uh, <laughs> there's been more than one time in the movies that I, 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 I just I have a hard time dealing with any kind of any kind of shit like that. Like there was a time in Florida, I was with my wife at Disney. We went to go see the Hulk, and this was the Hulk with uh, Edward Norton. Right. I, don't know, I never I don't saw know. that one. But I know it was fun. It was good. I mean, at the end, it was a little bit like a video game, too much with the CGI with the bad guy. But right. whatever, it was it was still fun. But I was into it, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a Marvel geek. I'm, I'm a, I grew up in comic books. So I love that kind of stuff. So it was with my wife. It was how many years ago? We were in that movie theater, and it was like a pack of kids, anywhere from ages 10 to like 15, going in and out of that theater, just running in, just being just obnoxious. just, And everybody in there is afraid to, to say anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at one point, I just I'm just like, yo, age we live in people no, are so addicted to their phones people are so selfish is would yeah. you, you would have said something well like i mean look there's another time in long island where it was it was, a, it was a dead night and it was during the week me and my wife went and then there was a guys that kept going in and out of the theater these two guys and they kept going out smoking a cigarette coming back or smoking weed whatever they kept coming in and it was only us and them in the theater so they were being <laughs> fucking obnoxious and then they were coming then the guys was up above us started smoking a cigarette and it was too much Hey man, fuck that. Yeah. I mean, now, now it's like, that's when I got up. And now the thing is this: I'm going to these guys fully aware that it could go real south. Sure. But then it's there's times where I bit my tongue, and it so annoyed me where guys were behind me being obnoxious. Where I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna. You know what? The guy might mouth off. I might do. I'm just gonna bite my. You're tongue. more afraid of what you're yeah. gonna do. Oh no, I'm not afraid of what they're gonna do. I'm that's afraid. Ex- that's exactly the opposite yeah. <laughs> of my problem. <laughs> I'm afraid of uh, you know just them saying the mm. wrong thing, and then it, where I you know where I go, I, just, I just said so. Like, listen, hey, you know, do you mind? Can you, you know, keep it down. <laughs> so the little girl goes to. Oh, I'm gonna go get my brother. So she runs out. She now listen. This is a no win situation. Like I, all I thought about in my head was, uh, you know, a former UFC champion knocks out fifteen year old. What am I gonna do? See, I'm just the opposite. Yeah. I think mediocre comedian knocked out by fifteen year old. You thought you would, <laughs> <laughs> you thought you'd be in a Cat Williams situation where he got attacked by that kid. I don't know if you ever saw. Oh that. yeah, yeah, the video. Yeah, shoot, man. Okay, so, so she's gonna get a brother, but you weren't even mean to her. You just said to her, nah, "Hey, I, you- I, I was loud." 
Because it was ridiculous, man. And they were just obnoxious kids. I don't know where the parents were. So then the kid, wait, who said that to my sister? So they all start coming in. Wait, the guy came back in? Oh, yeah, yeah. He came in. Then this guy right next to this guy with his, I guess, with his family stuff. He's like, hey, you want to show? Keep it down. I go, hey, dude, why don't you shut up? All right? Because now you're speaking of you. I'm being ra- I'm being loud. I'm the only guy who has balls to say anything. Wait, he's- they definitely had some issues, these kids. I mean, I don't know where were their parents. They were all over. But it was like a pack of them, you know? So it was funny, man. So it was me and my wife, like, uh... I don't know, anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 kids following us out. When I mean kids, I mean like young teenagers. But yeah. but still, it puts you in a position where you're like, listen, I mean, what, what, what is the mature thing to do here? Go get the, the usher? Is it, is it to tell them to shush? Listen, they, they fucking don't know how to behave. Their parents are the ones that should be getting smacked. I think they're almost worse and harder to deal with than adults because they don't understand the consequences oh, of no. a guy like you punching them in the face. No, and, and it's one of those things where, you know, what do you do with that? Like, it, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, you're not going to get pushed over. You're not going to let nobody touch you or your wife. or put you in, But at the same time, you can make headlines for smacking a ch- a So w- would you have said something minor. to that guy? He was an adult. Um, he was an adult and he was just kept flipping through his phone. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, this is the.